So, I do want to do this quick video for you guys. I know I didn't start 66 up in bus update, but I'm here like two days after filming bus update. And she's plenty enough warm. I just finished filming some videos, so we're going to go ahead and start her out. Yeah, so she's alive and well, doing great. Um, and then you can see 45 is right there, which you guys about fell down the steps. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I just want to do a little quick video here just to uh, let you guys see it. I guess we'll go ahead and start. Uh, 45. Cause why not? Alright. I've already had them both running, so, you know, they didn't really have any issues starting. Um, but, basically, I came here today to uh, get some videos done for you guys. I filmed, including this video, I filmed five different videos for you guys. Um, so, stuff is going to be on the way. Um, I did figure out what's wrong with this one. It's a safety valve that's missing, um, so that needs to get taken care of. And then once that's taken care of, it should build air and be fine. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, I guess outside of that, I'll put you guys on the tripod and you can ride along as I uh, park it. Which I'm going to secure you within the seat here so you don't fall down. your legs out. Alright, so I'll go ahead and park the bus and you guys can come along for that a little bit of a, a ride, I guess. Let's see, just want to make sure this is secure. Alright. Seatbelts, everyone. <laughs> Anyways.
I wish this RV was not here. I really do. And it's not because it's hard to park. It's just it's annoying because that uh that side space there has been open for so long. I'm just not used to having a you know a neighbor. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, 